So the Volt pulled into a Shell gas station in Round Rock, Texas, on a very small street. And um, lo and behold, we stumbled on a great technology story here at Treehouse Labs. You guys sort of had your coming out party at CES 2012. Mm -hmm. And today is a very auspicious day because you're actually rolling the product out for public consumption. That's correct. Yeah, we have, have had a tremendous response on our website since CES. Uh, we have uh, about seven, 8,000 people now that are signed up. And uh, today's the day we're opening the doors and uh, letting people order. Um, we have a case around the iPhone 4. Mm -hmm. Your product embedded in here. Talk to us about the hardware in here. There's an NXP chip. There's okay. some other circuitry around it. Walk us through that. Sure. So um, this is uh, you know, it's quite thin. So there's a lithium polymer battery. It's an independent battery. So we don't draw any power from the phone. Um, what this battery also allows us to do is monitor a sensor network all the time, whether or not the phone is asleep or awake. And then it's got an embedded antenna and uh, you know the NXP chip and power management circuitry and all that good stuff. Authentication, obviously, because it's Apple's phone and you have to ask permission. So. And what was the design <coughs> cycle on this and why did you choose, in this case, NXP's processor? Well, um, number one, you know, outstanding support. Um, we're a growing company, but they you know, saw the opportunity in us and really you know, pulled out the red carpet and provided a lot of great support to us. Um, <clears throat> uh, obviously for you know, cost um, is always a consideration. They're competitive in cost. Um, power, they have the lowest power of, of any 802.15.4 radio, so it allows us to have a long battery life, which is uh, definitely important to customers. And uh, very easy to use software stacks. So that helped us get to market uh, a lot faster than we would have otherwise. Oh.